Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zug and we are back with another day one build and this time it is for the Psyker. So let me just uh, say this is not a fully hammered out build yet. This is more of a test that kind of works. So if you're looking to try out the Psyker pretty quick, I have a build for you here. So this is built around the Void Strike Force Staff. This is what we're using at the moment. We've got Transfer Peril and Warp Flurry. So both of these are quite important for the charge up and also the purging of your perils. And we're using the Demios Mark IV Blaze Force Sword. Generally the same loadout I used before with uh, Slaughter and Uncanny Strikes, even though Un Uncanny Strikes has been nerfed slightly, but it's still pretty goddamn good. So what are we doing talent wise? We are taking a lot of the starter ones for toughness and crit stuff. So let's start out. So we're going for Soul Stealer. Perilous Combustion just for some extra damage. Quietitude for planishing toughness. And we're going to bounce over here. Critical Hits for planishing toughness. This is quite a crit heavy build. Perfect timing. Again, more crit stuff. Battle Meditation because we want to uh, quell as much of our perils as we can. Come down here. And this is where the testing's coming in. With the Void Strike Staff, you don't really need Brain Burst or a Sail for your ability to snipe elites. The Staff does most of that for you. So you can use Smite as your crowd control stunning. The Smite doesn't do very much damage, but it does crowd control and stun quite well. So we're grabbing these. And down here for some more toughness. Uh, Mind in Motion is actually really, really good. As you're not slowed at all anymore. And on the higher difficulties, I've found this is uh, just almost an auto-include for me. And more toughness reduction. Grabbing Prescience. For the crit chance, as I said, it is a crit build, so this just gives us more of it. Uh, Empathic Evasion, just to make us a bit harder to hit. Anticipation, range damage boost. Destroyer's Gaze, this is our big uh, nuke ability. So instead of being able to vent perils like we used to with Venting Shriek, we're going to feel a little bit more careful now. Because we can't just hit F to auto survive, so you've got to watch out for that. But this does just increase our output massively. And then we're dropping down here to grab empowered psionics. So it's dropping down here. So you can either take and increase the chance to gain empowered psionics on kill from 7.5 to 12.5, or you can just auto get it for killing an elite. I've gone for the auto gain here. As I said, this is a test build, so if you wanted to try out the other one, go for it. And then charged up. So, yeah, as I said, it is a um, it's a day one build, so it isn't completely hammered out. But I've been having quite a lot of fun of it. I was just going to show you here. We have gone for Perilous Combustion, but we're not going down for Wildfire. Uh, nah, I'd say Mind in Motion is more useful. Makes us slightly more survivable. And the ticks aren't that great. But I mean, you can switch out. Both are usable, but I would also kind of go with Mind in Motion just for the aspect of not being slowed down and chewed to pieces. But, you know, if you've got um, any advice for the build or your own takes on it, please let me know in the comments. As I said, day one build, so these aren't going to be perfect just yet. There's going to take some more number crunching. So I hope this has been helpful, folks. And uh, if it has, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notification. And until the next guide, take it easy, and I'll see you later.